I've never been an enjoyer of DWM LUT, but I was always against its ban because you can achieve the same results without it. I'm going to show you how it's done today along with how to improve your audio, so you can hear footsteps without destroying your ears with gunfire. Today's sponsor is SteelSeries Sonar. I'll actually be using this app later so stay tuned. Through downloading Sonar, you gain access to Moments and vice versa. Moments is a recording app with next-gen features such as Auto Replay, which conveniently detects when you frag out and automatically snaps a replay. But that's not what's important today. Sonar is a free audio mixing app that can be used by anyone. You don't even need to buy a SteelSeries headset. Using the parametric equalizer, you can specifically boost footstep sounds and gain advantage over your opponents. After setting your EQ, you can save it as a profile. You can have as many profiles as you want specific to your games. No other software offers this level of customization. There are also presets you can apply made by pros from teams like FaZe and Optic. Using Sonar Spatial Audio, you can create a 360 surround sound experience in any headphone. The app also installs its own virtual audio devices so you can separate your Discord chatter from your game sounds in gameplay recording apps like Moments or OBS. There's even a microphone equalizer so you can tune your budget mic to sound good. More importantly, there are noise gate options which are usually in more expensive mixers or specific to the app you're using. But now you can set it up once and forget about it. You can have all of this for free, used by anyone, no steel series headset required. What are you waiting for? Link in description and comments down below. Okay, starting with visuals. The sole reason people have to rely on DWM LUT is because the in-game post effects isn't satisfactory, and it's not because of its limited options. Post effects filters actually take out a good chunk of FPS, maybe 5 to 10% depending on your settings. This makes the game even more unplayable for the majority of the player base. But if you use DWM LUT, you won't get that performance hit. Regardless whether the app is using 3D lookup tables or not, it doesn't give you anything NVIDIA Control Panel or AMD Adrenaline can't already do. Here are my NVIDIA settings that are most similar to Trey's video. I found these settings by plugging in my secondary PC into my main PC with a capture card. That way I can have screenshots of Trey's video right next to my OBS window. You have to do it this way because you can't compare a screenshot to your screen while adjusting color settings at the same time. Here are some comparison shots. You'll notice that the color temperature is a little different. If you want the color temperature exact one to one, you'll have to go through each RGB drop down window and test each one manually. I didn't bother doing this because all I'm trying to do is make the game more vibrant with the same brightness as DWM LUT. And if you've noticed, I can actually see in the parking lot. Here it is on AMD. For the AMD settings, I was playing with the color temperature slider. So here are comparisons for cool tone. And here are comparisons for warm tone. If you're on AMD, you can play with the slider yourself. But in terms of brightness and saturation, the other sliders are what matters. And for streamers, your stream won't be able to see what you see because AMD and NVIDIA settings go directly to your monitor. So I would run something similar to this for OBS filters, so your viewers can see what's going on in your game. BSG banned DWM LUT because they're calling it an unfair advantage. I understand where they're coming from, but they've also promised us updated lighting for years. And after half a decade, there's been no changes. So it's fair that players are turning to other solutions. The biggest argument I see is dark places are supposed to be dark. But the issue is, places that are supposed to be bright are just as dark. The bookstore across Coston, this store can be pitch black, I don't care. That's understandable. What doesn't make sense is the lighting in bigger stores like Goshen and Ollie, where you have these massive skylights but most of the store is still pitch black. If you look at the skylight, it only casts light downwards. So you see these squares full of light, and then past the border, it's completely dark. But that's not how skylights work. It should cast rays diagonally, and with so many skylights, the entire store should be illuminated. If you look up abandoned mall videos, you'll see how bright a mall is during the day even with no power on. It's not like interchange at all. You can see the same thing happen in resort. Every room has a window that leads outside. How is it possible a room can be this dark when the sun is out? It just makes no sense. I lived in three different apartments throughout my life and whenever the sun is out, my lights are completely off. And my room isn't pitch black. Until BSG fixes lighting, graphics driver settings is the best we can get. On to sound. Pop open your Steel Series sonar, link in the description and comments. Turn on smart volume, this is essentially a compressor. Not an aggressive one like Soundlock, so it's barely noticeable. And it won't do things like break your immersion, or overlap quiet sounds when something really loud happens. Essentially all it does is make quiet sounds louder, and keeps loud sounds at around the same volume. So your gunshots won't change, but footsteps at the corner of your hearing range will sound louder. What the optimal setting is depends on your sound setup. However, when I was testing it maxed out, this happened. Cool. Fuck, that sounds so close. Really? That sounded far from me. Really? Yeah. Oh man. So now we know maxing it out isn't great, so I've been testing it at around 0.5 to 0.7, and it's been pretty good. 
I can't demonstrate this because it happens right before our sound gets outputted to our headphones or speakers. So it won't show up in a recording, similar to NVIDIA and AMD colors. But with it, we've kind of solved the dynamic range issue I mentioned in this video. But gunfire peaks are still really loud. The only way to lower these peaks at this point is to EQ. First step is to pick an in-game headset you like. EQ settings will change depending on what headset you use, as different headsets have different frequency response. This is something you have to test yourself, but I will guide you on how I ended up with my settings. Hypothetically, let's say I main razors. These guys have less bass than headsets like M32, Comtax, and Swordins. Gunfire is usually at around this range, so we want to lower these dots. You want to lower it enough so that when you shoot, it doesn't hurt your ears. You should be testing each change in your shooting range or in a custom game. You cannot copy my settings exactly because how much you lower it depends on your audio setup. For example, if you have trouble focus headphones, and we're talking about real life headphones, not the in-game headsets. Something like the DT990 with a treble focus signature, you may have to lower this part more. If you have a flatter treble signature like the 58X, you can lower it less. Everything is subjective, so I can't tell what's best for you. Personally, I've been testing a curve that kind of looks like this. My bass is boosted because I seem to notice footsteps more with it boosted. But again, I'm using razors. In-game headsets like the M32, Swordins, or the Comtax have its own bass boosted. So it'll sound like a mess if you applied this EQ onto these headphones. Again, you need to test this out yourself. But the end goal is, when you're full autoing any weapon, your ears don't hurt. But footsteps are loud enough to hear at the edge of your hearing range. With these two third-party apps, will you have an unfair advantage over the vanilla game? That's very debatable. Visual and audio are two very subjective things that can change from set to setup and person to person. You can say these settings for the majority of people on average will allow them to see better and hear better. Therefore, making it unfair compared to the base game. But an expensive monitor that has better visual clarity in dark places being more advantageous than a cheaper monitor is just as big of an advantage as an app changing colors. I would argue that someone who has a PC that can maintain the FPS for a 165Hz high refresh rate display has way more of an advantage over someone stuck with 40 FPS than a display with no variable refresh rate. But that doesn't mean BSG should limit everyone's FPS to 40. The main reason why people use third party apps like these is because they want to fix unresolved issues whether it's visual or audio that BSG has promised to fix for years. I hope this video helped, drop a like and a comment, subscribe with the bell, I sometimes stream, my socials are in the description and comments, thanks for watching. What? I can't see it with my optic!